Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang simple chemical conversion. So kung gusto niyo ito ang matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang another application of differential equations which is ito nga ang simple chemical conversion. So, meron na akong previous videos about other applications of differential equations which is yung Newton's Law of Cooling as well as in electrical circuits. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, isililing ko na lang para ma-check nyo din. Okay? So, ngayon is dumako tayo sa another application ng DE which is ito nga ang simple chemical conversion. So, sabi, it is known from the results of chemical experimentation that in certain reactions in which a substance A is being converted into another substance, the time rate of change of the amount X of unconverted substance is proportional to X. Okay, so, kung meron daw tayong substance A na nag undergo ng chemical experimentation, then yung rate of change daw of the amount X, let's say, nung substance A na yon na being converted into another substance with respect to time is proportional to the unconverted amount x then. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung meron tayong amount x at a particular time, then hanapin natin yung rate of change noon with respect to time. Dapat proportional siya doon sa unconverted x pa rin. Okay? So, sabi, let the amount of unconverted substance be known at some specified time, that is, let x equals x not at t equals 0, then, the amount x at any time t greater than 0 is determined by dE, dx over dt equals kx. Okay, so dahil meron nga tayong rate of change with respect to time, nagkaroon tayo ng derivatives. Yung rate of change of unconverted amount x of substance A with respect to time equal to, so dahil proportional daw yung rate of change doon sa unconverted amount x, so magkakaroon tayo ng constant of proportionality k, and then, Dahil direct proportion, nakamultiply siya doon sa unconverted amount x, which is kx, okay? So, therefore, ito yung magiging differential equation natin for simple chemical conversion. So, pwede natin itong masolve using separable dE. So, pwede natin i-cross multiply itong dt, i-cross multiply itong x. So, parang dx over x is equal to dt times k. Tapos, integrating both sides, we have integral ng dx over x is ln x, right? Equals integral ng k dt. So, yung k, constant lang, integral of dt. So, integral ng dt is simply t. So, parang kt, right? And then, dapat meron tayong constant. Okay? So, ngayon, kung i-raise natin itong expression both sides as a base e, we have cancel dito si ln, right? Magiging x na lang equal e raised to kt plus c. Or, x is equal to e raised to kt. Paghiwalayin ko, times e raised to c. Ngayon, itong e raised to c, kung ililet lang natin a single constant c1, i-absorb nga yung base e, pwede natin i-substitute itong e raised to c as simply c1. So, that the equation will be x is equal to, so c1, itong e raised to c, times e raised to kt. So, ito yung equation natin. So again, just like doon sa Newton's Law of Cooling, kailangan nating malaman itong constant C1 tsaka itong K. So itong C1, masasolve natin using yung initial condition din na at T is equal to 0, X is equal to X not. So substitute natin. So X is equal to X not, right? C1 e raised to K times T is 0. So e raised to K times 0 is e raised to 0 or simply 1, right? So X not is equal to C1. So therefore, plugging in the value, we have x is equal to x naught times e raised to kt. Where itong x naught is yung laging initial value nung substance at t equal 0. So, kailangan pa natin ng isang value at a particular time. Let's say, meron tayong another time. Dapat am alam natin yung amount of substance x at that time para masubstitute natin dito sa equation at masolve naman natin si k. Okay? So, pag nagawa na natin yon, then makukuha natin yung pinaka-final form nung equation nung ating amount of substance with respect to time. Okay? So, para may illustrate natin yung formula at concepts for simple chemical conversion ay mag-solve tayo na examples. So, for the first one, we have, suppose that a chemical reaction proceeds according to the law above, 
if half the substance A has been converted at the end of 10 seconds, find when 7 tenths of the substance will have been converted. So, since same law lang daw yung apply natin, yung formula natin kanina is x is equal to x naught times e raised to kt, right? Where x naught is the initial amount of substance or the amount of x at t is equal to 0. So, meron tayong condition para masolve si k. Sabi, if half the substance A has been converted at the end of 10 seconds, so, at t is equal to 10, so, half of the substance A daw has been converted. So, kalahati daw nitong x naught, yung initial amount niya, so, 1 half x naught, yun yung na-convert. So, therefore, yung natira is kalahati pa rin. So, yung natira is 1 half x naught pa rin, right? So, therefore, yun yung substitute natin dito sa equation para ma-solve si k. So, we have x now is equal to 1 half x naught is equal to x naught e raised to k times t na 10. So, we have 1 half x naught is equal to x naught e raised to 10k, right? So, pwede natin makancel tong x naught. So, we have 1 half is equal to e raised to 10k. So, Hanapin natin yung natural logarithm of both sides. We have ln of 1 half is equal to, so cancel na dito si e, 10k na lang. Then to solve for k, divide both sides by 10. Okay, so using calculator, masasolve natin si k as what? ln 1 half divided by 10. So k is approximately negative 0.069. So, mapapansin nyo, yung k natin is negative, ibig sabihin, nagdi-decay yung substance. So, meron na tayong pinaka-final form ng equation na x is equal to x naught e raised to negative 0.069t. Okay? Now, meron tayong tanong, sabi, find when 7 tenths of the substance will have been converted. So, therefore, kung yung 7 tenths daw ng substance ay converted, ilan yung magiging hindi pa converted? So, x naught minus 7 10 x naught or simply 3 tenths x naught, right? Kasi diba yung x natin dito is the amount unconverted. So, laging ganun na, hanapin nyo yung amount unconverted. Kung ano yung given sa problem, kasi yung given sa problem is 7 tenths will have been converted. So, hanapin nyo pa yung unconverted doon. So, kaya minanis natin yung x naught minus 7 10 x naught, which is, 3 over 10 x naught. So, yun yung ipaplagin natin dito sa x. So, x is equal to 3 over 10 x naught at t na unknown. Hanapin natin. So, we have 3 10 x naught is equal to x naught e raised to negative 0 0.0690. So, cancel ulit sa si x naught. We have 3 10 is equal to e raised to negative 0 0.0690. So, ln ulit both sides. We have ln of 3 tenths is equal to cancel si e, negative 0 0.0690. Then, to solve for t, divide both sides by negative 0 0.069. So, cancel, we have t is equal to ln of 3 over 10 divided by negative 0 0.069. Okay, so using calculator, ang masasolve nating value dyan is approximately 17.45 seconds. Okay? Next, we have radium decomposes at a rate proportional to the quantity of radium present. Suppose that it is found that in 25 years, approximately 1.1% of a certain quantity of radium has decomposed. Determine approximately how long will it take for one half the original amount of radium to decompose. Okay, so, since the yung rate of change nung quantity nung radium with respect to time is proportional to the quantity of radium present. So, pwede natin ma-apply din dito yung concept kanina, yung simple chemical conversion. So, we have x is equal to x naught times e raised to kt. Where yung x naught is yung initial amount ulit ng radium at t is equal to 0. So, to solve for k, gamitin natin yung unang condition na suppose daw it is found that in 25 years, approximately 1.1% of a certain quantity of radium has decomposed. So, therefore, we have at t is equal to 25 years. So, 1.1% has decomposed. So, take note yung present yung kailangan natin dito. So, therefore, ilang percent yung natitira pa? So, 100 minus 1.1% or... 98.9%. So, therefore, 
98.9% pa nung initial value na x naught or in decimal 0.989 x naught. Okay, so plug in natin. So x is equal to 0.989 x naught is equal to x naught e raised to k times t 25. So 0.989 x naught is equal to x naught e raised to 25 times k. So cancel si x naught, we have 0.989 is equal to e raised to 25k. Then find the natural logarithm of both sides, we have ln of 0.989 equals cancel si e, 25k na lang. Divide both sides by 25, therefore we have k is equal to ln of 0.989 divided by 25. So using calculator, ang masasolve nating value dyan is... So, K is negative 0.000442. Okay? So, meron na tayong pinaka-final equation na X is equal to X naught e raised to K na negative 0.000442T. Okay? So, negative ulit si K, ibig sabihin nagdi-decay. So, hanapin gawin natin ngayon yung time How long will it take for one half the original amount of radium to decompose? So, yung parang half-life niya. So, kung one half na yung na-decompose, ilan yung matitira? Kalahati pa rin. So, therefore, we have one half x naught is equal to x naught e raised to negative 0.00442t. Cancel sa x naught, we have one half is equal to e raised to negative 0.00442t. Find the natural logarithm of both sides. We have ln of one half. Equal, cancel na si E, negative 0.00442 na lang. Then, divide both sides by negative 0.00442. So, cancel. We have T is equal to ln of 1 half over negative 0.00442. So, using calculator, ang masasolve nating value dyan is approximately To the nearest year is 1, 5, 6, 8 years. Okay? Next, we have a certain radioactive substance has a half-life of 38 hour. Find how long it takes for 10% of the radioactivity to remain. So, pwede pa rin natin gamitin dito yung formula kanina na x is equal to x naught e raised to kt. So, solve ngayon natin itong k. So, given daw yung half-life daw ng radioactive substance is 38R. So, pag sinabing half-life, ibig sabihin, kalahati yung madidecompose at kalahati yung matitira. So, therefore, at T is equal to 38, X is equal to 1 half X naught. Right? So, substitute natin. So, X is 1 half X naught is equal to X naught e raised to K times T na 38. So, we have 1 half X naught is equal to X naught e raised to 38K. So, cancel si x naught. 1 half is equal to e raised to 38k. Find the natural logarithm of both sides. We have ln of 1 half is equal to cancel sa right itong e, 38k na lang. Then, divide both sides by 38. So, therefore, k is equal to ln of 1 half divided by 38. So, using calculator, ang makukuha nating value dyan is approximately negative 0.0182. Okay? So ngayon, ang pinaka-form na equation is x is equal to x naught e raised to negative 0.0182t. Now, ang tanong, find how long it takes for 10% of the radioactivity to remain. So take note, yung 10%, yun yung natira. So therefore, yun yung mismong value natin ng x, 10% ng x naught, which is 0.10 x naught, right? So therefore, 0.10 x naught is equal to x naught e raised to negative 0.0182t. So, cancel si x naught, 0.10 is equal to e raised to negative 0.0182t. Find the natural logarithm of both sides. We have ln of 0.10 is equal to cancel si e, negative 0.0182t. Then, divide both sides by negative 0.0182 to solve for t. Cancel, we have t is equal to ln 0.10 divided by negative 0.0182. So, using calculator, ang masasolve nating value dyan is approximately 126.5 hours. Okay? Next, we have a bacterial population B is known to have a rate of growth proportional to B itself. 
if between noon and 2 p.m. the population triples, at what time no controls being exerted should be becomes 100 times what it was at noon. Okay, so since yung bacterial population daw with value B is known to have a rate of growth proportional to B itself, applicable pa rin yung formula natin kanina. So let's say gamitin natin variable B. So B is equal to B naught e raised to XT. Okay? Where B naught is the initial bacterial population at T is equal to 0. So sabi, if between noon and 2 p.m., so from noon to 2 p.m., so 12 o'clock yung noon, right? So ilan yung oras lumipas? 2 hours. So at T is equal to 2, the population triple. So B is equal to 3 B naught. So pwede natin i-substitute yun dito para ma-solve si, sorry, K pala to. K, T, C, K. So, substitute natin, we have B is equal to 3 B naught is equal to B naught A raised to K times T is 2. So, 3 B naught is equal to B naught A raised to 2K. Cancel si B naught, 3 is equal to A raised to 2K. Find the natural logarithm of both sides, we have LN3 is equal to cancel si E, 2K na lang. Then, divide both sides by 2, we have K is equal to ln3 over 2. So, using calculator, ang masasolve nating value ni k is approximately 0 0.549. So, ang pinaka-formula natin is b is equal to b naught e raised to 0 0.549t. So, mapapansin nyo, this time positive si k, right? So, ibig sabihin nga, nag-grow yung population. Kasi, sabi rate of growth, right? So ngayon ang tanong, at what time no control being exerted should be becomes 100 times what it was at noon? So, kailangan daw natin is B is 100 times at B not. Yun yung present, right? So, substitute natin. 100 B not is equal to B not e raised to 0 0.5490. Cancel si B not. 100 is equal to E raised to 0 0.5490. So, ln again both sides. ln of 100 is equal to cancel si E, 0 0.5490 na lang. Then, divide both sides by 0 0.549. We have cancel. T is equal to ln of 100 divided by 0 0.549. So, using calculator, ang makukuha nating sagot is approximately 8.39 hours. So, ang tanong is what time, right? So, yung exact time. So, itong 8, obviously, from 12 noon, magiging may 8 o'clock na agad tayo. Tapos, itong 0.39 hours, convert na lang natin into minutes. So, 0 0.39 times 60, right? Kasi, merong 60 minutes sa isang oras. So, ilan yan? 23.4 minutes or approximately 23 minutes, right? So, therefore, meron tayong 8 hours and 23 minutes. Minutes. So, therefore, from 12 noon, add natin tong 8 hours and 23 minutes. Ang magiging final time natin is 8.23 p.m. So, at 8.23 p.m., yung magiging population ng bacteria is 100 times nung initial population niya at noon. Okay, so I think that's it for this video, Simple Chemical Conversion. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunod.